Schoology has profile pages that allow you to share a little information about yourself. Then, classmates and teachers have the ability to click on your name when they encounter it in Schoology to view your profile page. In addition, teachers and classmates can search for your name to view your profile page. You are the author and owner of your profile page, so you can decide how much information you share and with whom you share it. This quick video demonstrates what you can do with your profile page. First of all, notice in the recent activity feed, the names are blue, meaning they are hyperlinked. I can click on the name to open that person's profile page. I am logged in here as a student, Atticus Finch. If I click on my name, it opens my profile page. This student has added some information to his profile page, including an avatar profile picture. To edit the picture, hover your cursor on the picture and you'll see an edit picture option. Click on that to open a little pop-up window where you can choose an avatar or attach a file from your computer with a picture of yourself. To edit the text on this page, click on this edit button located here in the upper right. This allows you to edit the content in this About Me page. Save the changes on this page, and then click over to the Interests and Activities and edit the content there. And click Save Changes when you're finished. Click back on your name to view the page now. This is your TCA docs email, which really isn't an email. And then you can see your badges, courses, and groups here. If you do not want these items to display on your profile page, you can change your privacy settings. Click on the arrow next to your name and then click on privacy. These are the default settings for profile pages. Everyone in your organization can view your profile page um, by default in Schoology. However, you can modify this. So let's go through this. You can cl uh, click over one to the school or to no one, and that changes all of these items all at once. Let's go back and put them back over here for a moment. So the settings for updates and media albums don't matter because students um, cannot create these items in their profile pages anyway. By default, anyone in our organization can view groups, courses, and badges, as well as your email address. So if you don't want other people to view that, you can switch that over to school or to no one, however you like. The setting for blog doesn't matter because students do not have the ability to create blogs in their profile page. However, the setting for messaging, I recommend that you leave it at the organization level. Um, this allows teachers to be able to message you. When you are finished making your changes, click the blue Save Changes button. Remember, you can always come back to this page to make changes if you change your mind about any of these settings. Now, when other students view your profile page, this is what it looks like. You are in control of the information you share on your profile page and who you allow to see it.